Hi everybody, this is Michelle Cantrell of News Is My Business. I'm coming to you from my home office. Many of us have been working from home uh, for the past four days since the governor issued um, an island-wide lockdown, a mandate that calls for most businesses to remain shut and for people to remain home 24-7. So that doesn't mean that the news stops. I've been getting a lot of information today from different sources and I wanted to give you a rundown of what's been going on today. Um, I want to start with a couple of press releases that came out of La Fortaleza this morning. One of them uh, informs of Governor Wanda Vasquez's petition to the Federal Aviation Administration, specifically to Administrator Stephen Marshall Dixon, to be able to take several measures to control air traffic, including the suspension of domestic and international flights for 14 days. Um, among the petitions that she made uh, includes uh, allowing the government of Puerto Rico to close the airports where the National Guard isn't doing screenings. Um, the National Guard has been taking the temperature of passengers uh, to identify potential carriers of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Um, she sent a letter um, on, on Mar March 4th, actually, in which she um, asked to redirect all charter flights um, at three airports coming from jurisdictions that have been affected by the coronavirus, uh, just to be able to do a centralized um, passenger screening. La Fortaleza also put out another press release this morning um, announcing the provisional elimination of the sales tax applicable to essential items needed to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. That includes personal hygiene products as well as cleaning goods. Um, the list includes hand sanitizer, tissues, respirators, alcohol, disinfectants, um, vinyl gloves, um, aspirin, ibuprofen, um, cold medication. Um, the order would be in effect from Monday, March 23rd until Thursday, April 30th. So that means that if you go out shopping in Puerto Rico, um, you should be uh, keeping an eye out so that all of those products that are on the list um, go are exempted from the sales tax. From the private sector, we got a couple of press releases from um, medical plans, including Triple M, which announced that it will be covering the cost of delivering uh, medication, prescription medication, for the management of respiratory conditions such as asthma, COPD, and influenza, so that its members uh, don't have to expose themselves um, going out to the drugstore to get their medication. So the program is called Receta a tu Puerta, which means the prescription at your door. Um, the, the insurer is looking to respond to the need um, of older adults um, who need to access their medication but shouldn't be exposing themselves going to the drugstore, which, by the way, is one of the exemptions to the curfew um, in the executive order. That is in effect until March 30th. So Triple M has said that they will run that delivery program until that date. Meanwhile, Molina Healthcare of Puerto Rico announced that it will be covering the cost um, of the tests to detect COVID-19 um, for its members. Um, uh, the elimination of the co-payments will apply to the tests and the doctor's visits associated with the coronavirus, including emergency services, urgent care, and doctor's visits. Um, the details about that offer has already been shared with Molina's um, network of providers. Um, the company said that it's monitoring all of the developments related to the coronavirus cases in Puerto Rico and will make sure that the testing and the treatment for patients um, is done as quickly as possible, said Carlos Carrero, president of Molina Healthcare uh, Puerto Rico. Finally, we had a couple of announcements coming from several banks. On the one hand, we had Oriental um, announcing plans to help their clients get through uh, the difficulty in making loan payments during this coronavirus emergency. They're offering financial assistance plans because they're aware of the difficulties that many families may be going through these days when they are facing additional expenses and perhaps aren't able to work because of the lockdown. Uh, so the bank said that customers whose loans are less than 29 days in arrears will get an automatic waiver of late fees and there will be no reporting to the credit agencies during the month of March. When everything returns to normal, customers have to uh, go through the bank, they have to call the service center to apply for financial assistance and an arrangement uh, to get current on their loans, the bank said. 
On the other hand, we have First Bank, which this morning put out an update of their brand schedules. Uh, basically, they're announcing that their new special uh, out operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., including um, those branches that offer services on Saturdays. For the time being, um, none of the branches will be open on Sundays. Um, the bank announced that Money Express branches will be offering services Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, they announced that because of the uh, holiday on Monday the 23rd, First Bank and Money Express branches will be closed to the public. Um, meanwhile, uh, mortgage First Mortgage Centers will be closed to the public until March 30th. The First Bank Insurance Offices will be closed to the public, however, people can call. Um, to get service, or they can also send an email to service.fbia at firstbankpr.com or through text messaging 787-488-0201. So thank you for tuning in. We're going to be trying to do these types of video updates during the quarantine period um, just to keep you posted. Please send us your press releases to news at newsismybusiness.com. Be safe and stay home.